views expressed on this program are those of the hosts, guests, and callers, and are not necessarily those of this station, its management, or other advertisers. You're listening to Transformation Talk Radio. The Jen Royster Show, intuitive guidance to inspire your life, is an inspirational hour that will take you on an epic metaphysical journey to discover the spiritual approach to life's greatest challenges. Dr. Jen Royster is an internationally known intuitive counselor, spiritual teacher, and energy healer. Imagine having the ability to use your innate positive energy to dissolve the stuckness in your life, whether it's emotional, physical, or spiritual, through this incredible dynamic show. Get ready to be transformed from Dr. Jen's live guidance guided healing meditations and intuitive readings and unveil the power of connecting to spirit, the angels, and your higher self. Dr. Jen is passionate about helping you find the answers you're looking for through an inward journey that will strengthen your connection to spirit and help you trust your intuition. Now, here's your host, Dr. Jen Royster. Hello, everyone. Welcome to the show. I'm Dr. Jen, and today we're going to be talking about the heart chakra. The recent current energies, and yesterday, on December 21st, we had the winter solstice, and it came in with a lot of energy. This whole year has been going inward, turning inward, really connecting on that spiritual level to grow on the inside within ourselves and not avoiding all those things that we've been avoiding all these years. And we want big change, and it's going to take going inside to do that. Well, it's, I've had a very interesting preparation, I guess would be the way to say, for this particular episode because um, I had a lot, I've got a lot to share with you, and I always get excited every week when this happens. But the heart chakra had a nudge with this energy, and we have, a, you know, what a week left of 2016, and we really want to roll into 2017 with a clean slate as much as we can. I mean, nobody is going to have this perfect. And I don't want you to feel like, oh, no, I forgot that part. And you're two months into 2017 and it's a ruined event for you. No, absolutely not. But the more proactive you are in releasing or healing the old things, the old wounds, the old issues, the old everything, out with the old and with the new, because, and I said last week, We're starting a brand new nine year cycle of new beginnings. I mean, everything goes into a nine years. 2016 was the last of a nine year cycle. Okay, done. We roll into 2017 in a brand new one. We've seen lots of change. Well, it's still going to be changing, but as we open our heart and as we work to align and clear out and open up and use that heart chakra, Making choices from the heart are going to feel more, they're going to feel more sane. They're going to feel like they make the most sense. You know, if you feel like, that's just not logical, I got to do this and that, this and that. It's just not going to be like that anymore. And and that's going to phase out. You know, you're going to see a mixture for a little bit. You're going to see a mixture. And we've been seeing a mixture this year. But you will continue to see a, a mixture of energies like that. However, look forward to things changing on a big scale, on a global scale. The more hearts that open up and they start to work from the heart chakra, you're now bringing in your higher self, that soul part of you that really does know what your passions are, what you really want to do, what you love to do. And those passions and what you really want to do are connected with why you're here. And you may not feel like that. You may feel like, well, that's not the same. It's not going to work that way. Yes, it will. Yes, it will. And I'm here to tell you that. So in the process of working with heart chakra, I mean, it's shifting us. It's going to shift the perspectives. When you start making more choices and thinking and processing life from your heart chakra, It's not from the head. It's not from the the analytical. um, Your whole perspective is going to change, and it will allow more love in, and I'm talking divine, unconditional love. And with that, a lot of people think about the romantic love, and, of course, romantic love is part of it, but it's not all of it, okay? Now, 
when you're bringing in more love, you start to change the way you see things. You're going to start to see life in a different way. You're going to see more positives in life. You're going to see, wow, well, you know, that was a bit challenging, but there's this wonderful part about this person that I never saw before. Or there's this wonderful uh, experience that I have now when I go to this place. I mean, you're going to start to see things differently. That's just a couple of examples. Um, we have a lot to look forward to, but if you're going to, you can choose to stay in the, you know, worried about it, scared about it. And, you know, you can be that way if you want to. I'm not recommending it and I'm certainly not going to stay in it. Um, I'm working very hard with that. And I think I mentioned last week that I had seen, um, I had seen different, I see different symbols sometimes and I work to re just remove them. And I, I do that with energy healing. I've seen them on other people. I've seen things that, their possibility is to just hold things up or to sabotage. And I'm like, no, let's get that out of the way. Let's get that out of the way. And the more I do that, the more the gate opens and swings wide open. And I notice that the person that I may or may have helped with that, they change. I change uh, when I've done it personally. So, and I'm not saying I'm doing everything. I'm just putting a lot of focus with that. And I've helped them to release from it. Because when it comes down to it, we think a lot of things are holding us back or we don't have control. But when you really look deep, you do have more control than you think, and you can actually do something about it. You can do a lot of things about it. You can stop giving that control to some outside source. You can start taking those reins back. When our higher self is running the show, it doesn't worry about that because it isn't control and it knows your best interest. It knows what's going to keep you aligned with your heart and your passion and what brings that joy out in your life. And then when you do that, you're sharing that with another. And it just is a snowball effect in a beautiful way. So this holiday season is really interesting. So I thought, wow, what a great idea to talk about this today. And we have a little bit from the mailbag. And I also had an interesting visit from another power animal or spirit guide, animal spirit guide, and that's been happening a lot. It started happening this fall, and I try to paint them, and I'm going to paint this one, but this one didn't come in until a couple of hours before getting ready for the show, so I wasn't able to paint this one. And I'm gonna, but it's gonna, I'm gonna share this with you because it was specific to the topic today. So I'm always excited when they come in with more information right before I go on the air. It's not planned. Uh, you, you can't try to make that happen. You just allow it to happen. And when it happens, it happens. But I do have one to share with you. So we're going to do that today. And we're just going to dive into what what is going on. Are you feeling more emotional? Are you feeling heart palpitations and you never did before? You went and had your heart checked out and everything's fine. Um, you're feeling more passionate about something that you never did before. Your heart's probably waking up and it's activating. Everybody will eventually, and we're not all going to be on the same timeline with that, but it's happening. It's happening in a big way. So I think it's a very exciting time. I love when things come from the heart. Um, for me personally, that just means more. I love the feeling of when there's passion and love behind anything. Um, and the energy, when I was talking about that winter solstice that came in yesterday, it, it, it came in with gentle nudges to start opening up the heart. Don't be afraid to open up your heart. When we first do that, some people that have closed that down, that um, maybe have gone through some very painful things or they're afraid they're gonna be hurt or rejected, abandoned, betrayed, you name it, that right there will tell you what issues you're going to want to work on so you can move into 2017 without them. It may take a little bit longer and you'll have an overlap into 2017. Don't let that freak you out. You can still continually make progress. It's not that you won't, but you will find as once we get into 2017, it's going to be a lot easier the more you have off your plate to deal with. It's going to just be a lot easier. So why are, why wait? Why wait till you're forced into it 
you got kind of thrown into the racetrack and, you know, why? I mean, why do that when it can be so much easier? I mean, why carry all that baggage around of pain when we don't need to anymore? Because the world's changing and that old world about hurting and pain and just who's doing what to who. I don't know about you, but I'm ready to leave it. And I'm ready for something else. And so the more that we focus on what we want with that, the more you're going to align with that fifth dimension that's already here that I told you about. It's already here. You just have to connect with it more. The more you focus into those positives and those things that you would prefer to have in your life versus all this pain and trauma, you know, you might have to go on a withdrawal detox from drama if you're used to a lot of drama. Have you ever noticed that if you're used to drama? And then you're, oh, well, um, I don't know. You know, I'm kind of used to drama, but does that mean, you know, I I don't want it in my life? Um, Sometimes you feel a little bit in this pool of unknown water once everything is so calm and peaceful and you don't have anything going on to the point where you might even try to get something going on because you're like, you know, even though that's drama and painful and extreme and crazy, you're used to operating in it and you may find that you try to draw it back in. It's common. It's very common. Um, If that's what you've been in for a while and you're just now coming out of it, you might find that you go back and forth. That doesn't mean you're failing. That means you're finding a way to weaken its grip on you and you're finding a way to enjoy life in a peaceful way. Sometimes it can be so peaceful if you go from one extreme to the next that you're, um, Wow, I don't know about that. (laughs) So think about what I'm talking about. We're opening up the heart chakra. We're talking about how it's awakening for change. That's what we're talking about. We're going to take a short break. I'm Dr. Jen. You're listening or you might be watching our live stream. You can go to my website, jenroyster.com, to check that out. When we come back, we'll keep powering on. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Hi, this is Leslie Fontaine, and my show is Sheer Alchemy on TransformationTalkRadio.com. When we're bogged down with our emotions, the hardships that plague us in our relationships, at work, our finances, we literally can't see the higher plane where we could be operating from. Tune in to Leslie Fontaine, Sheer Alchemy on Transformation. Tune in to the Jen Royster Show, intuitive guidance to inspire your life, each Thursday at 8 a.m. Pacific and 11 a.m. Eastern on TransformationTalkRadio.com. This amazing show is an inspirational hour that will take you on an epic metaphysical journey to discover the spiritual approach to life's greatest challenges. Dr. Jen is an internationally known intuitive counselor, spiritual teacher, and energy healer. Call in for intuitive readings and visit JenRoyster.com for more information. Tune in to Lucid Planet Radio with Dr. Kelly Neff. This hit show will illuminate your senses and empower you beyond your daily stressors and hardships. Renowned psychologist and author Dr. Kelly will captivate you with far-reaching topics and amazing guests as you wake to the greatest version of yourself. Learn to tap into your intuitions, think critically about our world, heal emotional and psychological wounds, and follow your passions to live your dreams. The Lucid Planet. Welcome home. Visit lucidplanetradio.com for more information. Artie Hoffman is the hottest psychic with the warmest heart and the host of the hit show Angels and Answers. A renowned psychic, medium, spiritual life coach, and an entertaining motivational speaker, Artie has helped over 15,000 people with his amazing intuitive gifts, his passion, and his humor. Call 877-ANGEL-02 to schedule a personal reading or to have your own psychic Artie party. That's 877-ANGEL-02. And visit ArtieHoffman.com and Angels and Answers on Facebook. Are you ready for a game changer? Sarah Westall is bringing you Business Game Changers Radio. Sarah brings you leading experts, visionaries, and newsmakers who provide the best commentary on big issues and cutting-edge innovations. Sarah's 20 years as a business executive will help you think like an entrepreneur with expertise, energy, and attitude. Tune in to Business Game Changers Mondays at noon Pacific, 3 Eastern on TransformationTalkRadio.com. Hi, 
and we are back. You are listening or watching our live video stream. Check it out at jenroyster.com, J-E-N-N-R-O-Y-S-T-E-R.com under the show page. Um, we are also live uh, streaming on WBLQ in Westerly, Rhode Island, if you're out there and about in your cars. And we are also on TransformationTalkRadio.com network. So we're all over the place, and we are trying to bring it to you in every way we can. So. And after the first year, we're going to see what we can do about bringing the painting back into the show. We had to go through our little hiccups with changes and technical stuff, but we are looking like it's working out. So we're going to keep powering on. Now, we're talking today about the heart chakra and its awakening for change. Now, what does that mean for you? It might mean that you might go through a little bit of emotional upheaval. Don't fight that or resist that because emotions will play a big part in um, in the heart opening up because you have to not be afraid to feel all of it. I won't play with, I won't play around and make you think, oh, let me just open it up and it's only love, love, love. It's not being afraid of the ups and downs in life. It's not being afraid and holding your power through all of it, not letting one little thing knock you off you know, I'll knock you off the horse, so to speak. And that's kind of a big deal. So if the whole world is going through this big heart chakra shift, and if you don't know what a heart chakra is, we have chakras that are energy centers within our body. If that term is brand new to you, very quick crash course here. We have energy transformers that process different types of energy. The heart chakra is the fourth one. It's right here near your real heart. Um, and it uh, it processes all emotions, how we feel things, and it's one of a one of the most powerful centers. It's the center between the physical and moving into the spiritual part of us, and it's always been a powerful chakra, and now it's growing to the higher frequency to align with a with a an ascension into a fifth dimension world versus just staying in the third and dealing with so much pain. It's now has, it now has to enlarge itself. It has to expand for the capacity to hold more love and be able to send more love. I know. I love that part. Well, here's what happened. Okay. I had visions. I, I get the visions and I, I get a, um, I receive a lot in the form of a spiritual animal spirit guy, power, uh, animal, power animal, you know, they're called different things. And um, I didn't really go out trying to choose for spirit to connect me with, me with me that way, but they just do. And to be honest, I love it because I love animals. I love nature. And it just is a good fit for me. And angels come through with them a lot. Um, Michael also came through with, don't be afraid. Don't be afraid to open your heart. Don't, don't have fear filling your heart where it could be filled with more love. And that was a big thing he said. But the power animal or the spirit guide that came through was the cheetah. Yes, the cheetah. Now, it was a really interesting vision. And at first I didn't get it. You know, at first, at first I'm like, wait a minute. And I had to really process it and study a little bit. So I've been very busy cramming with, what was Cheetah trying to tell me? And I asked, is this for me personally or for the show today? And they said, absolutely for you and the show. It's for everybody. So I love that. So this is for all of us. But the Cheetah is one of the big cats that is the fastest on earth, right? I mean, that's the one they can clock at 60 miles and, you know, go to what, zero and 40 and beat a race car sometimes. <laughs> that's a fast animal. It's also a unique animal, and I want you to listen to how I'm describing the cheetah because the cheetah was for all of us. Um, the cheetah is unique in the way that it hunts. It doesn't stalk. It chases down. It just goes for it 100%. Wham, you know, it. that's how it'll do its focus, and that's very different from the rest of the uh, big cats. They, you know, kind of stalk and spy on you and do that creepy thing, right? Well, not the cheetah. Not the cheetah. The cheetah's like, that one, bam, and goes for it. Okay, very proactive, very quick, just jumps 
all four into it, right? The other thing that really caught my attention was in the divine design of the cheetah, it has a larger heart and lungs to handle the capacity of oxygen for how fast it goes. And I said, the enlarged heart, wait a minute, wait a minute, you know, the enlarged heart, it has more capacity, more capacity. And it was making so much sense. Now, what's happening with the heart chakra, with love, relationships, our feelings being hurt, or being afraid of betrayal or being abandoned or rejected, or are we going to find love? You know, the whole thing. Feelings, just everything you might feel. Jealousy, aggravation, you know, all anger, all of those feelings are processed through the heart chakra. The cheetah comes through, both guns blazing, if you want to say it that way, but it came through, and I was in this setting walking through nature and this is how the vision came and it was specific because this is how i know what it was for and if any of you have a cat or you know cats you know the love lap cat the one that just love 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 every time you sit down you're going to get the love fest whether you want it or not four o'clock in the morning whatever you know the little cute little domestic cat you know how they do that well okay just imagine this happening with a great big cat. So this cheetah comes up and it was like a lap cat, but a big cat and really was showing me so much love. And I was like, okay, whoa. And then at the same time, I saw, wait a minute, I don't want to resist this. This is the love coming in that I wanted. This is the love and abundance that I wanted. This is more of what I wanted. So this cat was representing I have a bigger heart for more capacity to give you more and you give it back to me even more. So it was just beautiful. I thought, oh my gosh, this cat is coming through right for this message. And I absolutely loved it. So with that said, I kept going, I kept going and I kept digging more into it. They have a spine that is designed for that running that they do, that, that fast pace they do. I mean, they're very sleek. And the spine is our structure. It's what holds our standards, our core beliefs, our what are what's our foundation on what we're processing in life. That's everything that the spine does. This spine on this animal is designed to go for its dreams. It goes it accomplishes, and it does it very quickly. And I thought, wow, interesting. And then the cheetah will come through when we really need it the most. It's not an animal or a spirit guide that will just, you know, it just doesn't show up randomly. This one kind of is specific to what it brings. And I thought, okay, this one is really coming through for the heart chakra and love and expanding and going for it going for your dreams, not being afraid. There's no hesitation. There's like a zero hesitation. So if you find that you're holding yourself back a little bit or you feel, um, I'm not quite, I'm not quite feeling this, you know, I'm feeling nervous about opening up and, and putting myself out there to be vulnerable. Think about the cheetah spirit guide. Look it up, dig into what the cheetah can do for you and ask for a little bit of that energy and what it can do for you. Because I thought, this is what a, what a perfect spirit guide to come through to support and encourage us right now to go for it. Open it up. It's like going for your dreams. Know that you have the energy to do this because, I mean, we're all here because we chose to be here at this time. So that means all of us can do it. That's the way I see it. I don't see where anybody is going to be denied that, but they have to choose and they have to be proactive. The cheetah can help you be proactive for you. It can, you can go in there and know that, you know what, there's nothing holding me back but me, and boom, take off and go. The energies are manifesting very, very quickly now. So once you decide and you go there, sky's the limit, and it's going to move fast. So there really is nothing holding anybody back but ourselves. And I just loved how this came through. 
Um, I loved how it came through with, you know, the, the even the spine just challenging. What are your core beliefs? Are they flexible enough, like the cheetah spine, to move quickly? Are you trying to move into something? And that's a big one. Are you trying to move into something brand new emotionally with old beliefs or core standards in place? Because you, you may want to change those up. You may want to do a bit of a review. Perfect timing on that life review thing right now. Since on the 19th, we went into Mercury retrograde until what? The 7th, 8th, 9th, something like that. Um, we went into for, um, you know, the retrograde. So you have a few weeks there to do the life review and clean it up, polish it up, see what's going to be more flexible and work with you in current time. So that's what's going on. That's where we are right now. And I love, love, love that. Um, big things happening right now. Um, we're going to say goodbye to an old way of life here in just a few days. And then we may have to grieve a little bit. And then we need to come in ready to go out of the gate in 2017. So think about that. We're going to take a short break. And when we come back and keep powering on, we are talking about the heart chakra awakening for big change. We've got 2017 right around the corner. Um, I, I'm excited about this one. So, you know, think about what I'm saying. Think about what I'm saying and share it with somebody that you may feel it could help. Um, we're not trying to talk anybody into anything. We're just trying to show you that everything's possible. So stay with us. We'll be right back after the break. Tune in to The Jen Royster Show, intuitive guidance to inspire your life, each Thursday at 8 a.m. Pacific and 11 a.m. Eastern on TransformationTalkRadio.com. This amazing show is an inspirational hour that will take you on an epic metaphysical journey to discover the spiritual approach to life's greatest challenges. Dr. Jen is an internationally known intuitive counselor, spiritual teacher, and energy healer. Call in for intuitive readings and visit JenRoyster.com for more information. Dr. Bree Gibbs is a fourth-generation high priestess with the knowledge to raise your vibration in conscious creation. Offering a wide variety of services from Goddess Light and Shamanic Healing Seminars to private reading sessions, Bree works with you so you too can stand in your own power. Isn't it about time you took your life into your own hands? For more information about Bree's services and products, visit SilverGaia.net. That's Silver, G-A-I-A dot net. The Angel Lady dot net. The Angel Lady dot net. The Angel Lady net. The Angel Lady dot net. The Angel Lady dot net. The Angel Lady dot net. One eight hundred three two three one seven nine zero. One eight hundred three two three one seven nine zero. Sue Storm. Sue Storm. The Angel Lady dot net. Are you ready for a game changer? Sarah Westall is bringing you Business Game Changers Radio. Sarah brings you leading experts, visionaries, and newsmakers who provide the best commentary on big issues and cutting-edge innovations. Sarah's 20 years as a business executive will help you think like an entrepreneur with expertise, energy, and attitude. Tune in to Business Game Changers Mondays at noon Pacific, 3 Eastern on TransformationTalkRadio.com. Are you tired of being tired? Hi, I'm Mary Jane Mack. Did you know the adrenal glands, the workhorse of the body? They are the means by which you position yourself in life for whatever comes your way. Tiny but mighty, producing hormones the body uses to promote energy and vitality. These adrenals determine how you respond to stress and when depleted, the body loses its ability to function powerfully when we need it most. The much needed adrenaline or epinephrine is not available for emergency situations. Cortisone and cortisol, the longer-acting anti-stress adrenal hormones, can also become depleted due to the pace of our everyday lives. We overwork and undernutrition our most powerful ally that helps us to live the lives we desire. We are able to determine the optimum function of the adrenals and put your system back in balance. Contact us today to feel powerfully energized. 
at 888-777-4232 or visit us at maryjanemack.com. And we are back with Heart Chakra Awakening for Change. If you're just tuning in, you're listening to the Jen Royster Show, and that's what our topic is today. You know, why are we feeling so much? Why are we so emotionally charged about things that are upsetting us? That's the Heart Chakra, too, by the way. All this stuff that we've been going through in the last few months with everything, elections, you name it, uh, whatever you're feeling in that, it's emotionally charged. It's your heart. Your heart chakra is opening up. And it's like, oh, man, that was kind of painful. Well, it doesn't, it doesn't have to stay painful, but we have to process things that may have been held in deep. We may have to be processing things we just haven't processed before. So when I say that, I wanted you to know about that because that one alone is is interesting to me because um, if you have uh, all this stuff deep inside that you really never went there because you just kind of kept it down and quiet and you maintained and you were probably very productive and you probably did just fine for years and now all of a sudden everything's just blah because it's time for those barriers to come down so your heart can open up and expand and grow and ascend. If we kept the barriers on, that worked for a while. I get that. I understand. I even did that. For, I don't know, maybe 10, 15 years at one point. Um, if, if you keep those locked down and now we're moving into higher consciousness, higher vibrational frequencies, that's just not going to work, okay? This is to your benefit that it's opening up and expanding. And sometimes it feels like somebody's just prying it open, you know, and just opening your heart before you're ready emotionally. Yes, I get that. Um, don't feel like you got to go through that by yourself. If you need somebody to talk that out with, you know, don't let it yank you all over the place. I'm not saying to just, you know, suffer through anything. But I want to show you a perspective in how it can be a very, very positive experience for you, including the stuff that doesn't feel so great. That was another thing that the cheetah, the spirit animal, brought to the table. If you look at a picture, and I I would have one drawn if I had had time, but they brought it in today. So I guess I wasn't supposed to draw this one for this show. But um, if you look up in Google or whatever, a picture of a cheetah's face. You will see that they have perfectly like dark outline, almost like makeup, going all the way around their eyes, and then it comes down the cheek. So it's like this black line. It looks like magic marker was just drawn. And I thought I found that intriguing. And you know, if you look into the history of that, the Egyptians really praised and just adored this animal. And they had a bit of a a, you know, a saying or, you know, folklore, how, whatever that is that goes with the cheetah from the Egyptians was, um, you know, they helped, they were grieving, they processed grief. And I thought, wow, this one's just loaded. This one is a loaded, loaded with information for what we're talking about today. It was opening up the heart. You might be dealing with some grief. You might be dealing with loss. If all of a sudden you're feeling in that, you are processing something that needs to be processed so you can move on. And I get that. Grief is a process. It's important that you don't stuff it down and deny it. So sometimes it's, you know, we got to let things go in our life and, you know, we grieve, we're going to miss it, but we know it's the right thing to do. Or you may have had someone that you love very much pass away. You may have feel a loss that you've lost in the last few years. If you're feeling a lot of the stuff coming up, the cheetah spirit guide brought through how to allow yourself that process of grieving. Don't deny it. You grieve, you release, you express, and then you keep going and you move on. I know. And why would the cheetah bring that? Because when you look at more of 
their natural lifestyle. They they have large litters of babies, and but not very many of them live. So the mother is you know tenaciously trying to take care of these little ones that and most of them die. Um, so she deals with that. And then the ones that do make it, let me tell you what, that is a super mom. I'll tell you that. So she knows what that feels like to lose, to lose. And a lot of the animal kingdom does. You know, you can't tell me that they don't feel lost. They do. And I think they've proven that plenty. But this one, this one brought a lot to the table today. And it was the last one I would have thought would have brought what we needed for the heart. But it absolutely did. And I couldn't have figured that out if I had gone researching to try to find one to match up. I wouldn't have realized this. So that I love is how they just bring it to me. It literally just just pops in like visions and dreams. And they're unexpected. And then I just all of a sudden, wait a minute, wait a minute. Oh, my gosh, oh, my gosh. And I get what that is. If you've been seeing a lot of synchronicity of numbers, you've got to pay attention to that. Um, whether it's two, 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 or one, 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 or, you know, any of those things, if you're seeing repetitive things like that, if you're finding that your diet is changing, you're craving different things, look to see what it is you're craving and then look at what the nutritional value is. If it's a junk food, what is it about it that could be what you're actually in need of? Because your body is going to communicate, and it will communicate very loudly to you if you want it to. It will. And it's it's feeling like that right now for a lot of us. We're feeling more and more and more. So it's a very interesting time for the heart chakra. Um, we've talked about the heart chakra for years in opening up and processing. But what we're looking now at is it needs to open up and expand to be able to handle more on a bigger scale and higher and have a consciousness of trusting that higher self to take over because, and, you know, when you start making choices from your heart, it's a completely different experience. And, and if you're so used to the logic and, okay, this is what the norm is. This is what everybody else does. This is what everybody tells me I should do. And then your heart's saying something completely different. Of course, that's challenging. I know how you're feeling with that, you know, um, you want to look at that. You want to look at, well, why is it, why is my heart and what I want to do and why am I feeling like this when yeah, that doesn't seem logical and I should be doing something else? That's exactly what you need to go deep inside yourself and address and spend time with why the heart is, is taking you down that path. Here's a couple of recommendations I have for you on that. Very important. If you feel a conflict between what your heart is nudging you to do and say what the what the populace is doing or what you have been doing and it's just something so crazy and different that you're like oh it just seems like a nutsy thing to do well i'm not saying jump all over it but be proactive spend time listening to that with your heart and look into it a little bit more learn as much as you can about that choice to see why would it take me down there because if it's something big, like say you've never moved in your whole life and now all of a sudden you're going to move um, and it wants to take you somewhere, then look look at all the avenues. It's like, okay, if I was to make this choice today, what do I need to know about it? Say it's a move, say it's changing a relationship, say it's whatever, something big, a job. Go all the way down what I call the bunny trail and learn everything you can about that what that heart's telling you, because that is coming from a part of you that is your higher self. That's a knowledge base that only you have answers to the questions that you're seeking. Nobody's going to have those same answers for you that are that are that unique to you. So you do want to go down there. It doesn't mean do it. It just means now if you if you take that approach, it helps the mind accept that a little bit. Like okay, let me go explore it. That doesn't mean I'm going to do it yet, but let me go explore. And you might find some very good reasoning or you may find like, oh, wow, I never thought of it that way or, oh, my gosh. And then make a choice. I'm not telling you to just do it blindly. I'm telling you to go educate yourself on whatever your heart is nudging you to do. Do that. Because now you're being proactive and you're listening to your heart. Because 
if we don't listen to the messages that are coming through from our spirit and and the nudges and we ask our angels all the time for help and then do we listen and they're going to talk to us that way very easily if we allow ourselves to go there and listen to it. Uh, some people are like, I don't even want to hear that. That's crazy. Well, that's shutting it down and not even hearing it out. So it might scream a little louder if you do that. So I, that's why I'm suggesting learn about it. That doesn't mean you're going to do it. And then after you've looked into it and you've listened to it, then make a choice. And you can always say no to that. You don't ever have to say yes, but you might find that you want to say yes. You might find a whole new discovery in there that you wouldn't have noticed before if you had never looked or listened. So that's why I'm saying to do that. That's a big deal. Um, Flexibility is necessary right now. So when we are opening up our heart, we're going to feel a little bit all over the place. You're going to feel a little bit in unknown territory. And be flexible with allowing yourself the up and down. That's giving yourself self-love to process, get used to something new, to allow some space for something you may have never done before. That would be part of the expansion of the heart. With that brings more awareness for things around you, more awareness as to how your choices affect um, others and how your choices affect you if you're you're sabotaging self-love, things like that. So this kind of goes in deep, and it's very individual. So the heart chakra is expanding. It is expanding. This is a great opportunity to really make the most of it with the energies that have aligned. Perfect with the review time. The retrograde does not have to be negative at all. It can be a great review for what you want to do next. And that's what we're talking about. We're talking about this heart chakra expanding for the changes that we have been seeking for so long. I'm Dr. Jen. You're listening to The Jen Royster Show. And we're going to take a short break. We will be right back. What is a brilliant culture? And how do we create them? Why are they important? Claudette Rowley has created a breakthrough five-step process to help you design a culture that is authentic, innovative, and successful. Learn how to create change with Cultural Brilliance Radio, the DNA of organizational excellence at Claudette Rowley. To learn more or work with Claudette, visit ClaudetteRowley.com. The Earth is an ever-changing being. Goddess Light, shamanic healer, Bree Gibbs, guides us through the ascending worlds and brings forth knowledge and truth. As a light creator, she is here to provide new information needed at this time in our evolution. Join Bree as she shares messages from guides, spirits, ascended masters, goddesses, and others. Tune in Tuesdays at 3 p.m. Pacific and Thursdays at 1 p.m. Pacific for the Silver Gaia Show and live the authentic life. Chris Stainis is a spiritual leader and healer and teaches a course on how you can transform your life through a meditation and healing system that will manifest your spirit's dreams. She manifested the Women of Wisdom Conference, the Women of Wisdom book, and this radio show. And she can show you how to change your life, too. Are you ready? Visit the website and contact her at VoicesOfWomenToday.com. That's VoicesOfWomenToday.com. Tune in to The Jen Royster Show, intuitive guidance to inspire your life, each Thursday at 8 a.m. Pacific and 11 a.m. Eastern on TransformationTalkRadio.com. This amazing show is an inspirational hour that will take you on an epic metaphysical journey to discover the spiritual approach to life's greatest challenges. Dr. Jen is an internationally known intuitive counselor, spiritual teacher, and energy healer. Call in for intuitive readings and visit JenRoyster.com for more information. There are so many resources out there for meditation. But did you know that Atana's Heart Earth Healing Meditation is available for you for free? Yes, that's right. You can receive this free healing meditation today from Atana Badili. All you need to do is visit his website, atanamethod.com. That's A-T-A-A-N-A method.com and sign up. You will receive your free meditation instantly. That's atanamethod.com. 
Tune in to Mainstream Metaphysics Radio to harness your connection with the universe to affect change for optimal success and happiness. Name one of the country's top psychics. Eve now brings her insights and gifts to this weekly hit call-in show. Joined by visionaries, leaders, and gifted others, but mostly you. Jot it down. Thursdays, 10 a.m. Pacific, 1 p.m. Eastern on TransformationTalkRadio.com. We are back for the last segment. Now, I have an email from the email bag, and then it looks like we may have a caller I'll bring on right behind it. So let's jump on that. First of all, from the email bag, this comes from Beth, and this is right along with what I was just talking about in the last segment. She says, my heart has been taking me in many directions lately after being quite steady during a long healing phase, I'm feeling a strong romantic tie to someone I've been seeing for about six months. But now without logical cause, my heart has been pulling me away. Do the angels have any messages on why this is happening and do they see us making it through this challenge? And will we, will we remain closely connected? Okay, she had like three questions in there, but, but here's what's going on. Um, you're six months into it, and now all of a sudden you're feeling this, ah, okay. That is a discernment nudge is what I'm feeling. I'm, I'm, bring, I'm asking Michael immediately for that because he protects us, and it feels like there's a little bit of protection. First of all, we've been talking about the cheetah going fast. However, that doesn't mean go too fast in something if you don't need to go too fast because what do I immediately feel with this one is slow down, and check out the details, make a list if you have to, what's the romantic draw, and what's the part that, why are you so afraid to listen to your heart? Why are you so afraid to listen to that? I don't think it means pull completely out. I think it means slow down and, and learn more. Learn more, get more facts, get more details. Um, doesn't mean you have to be suspicious or anything, but it could just be going too fast. It feels like it's going too fast for you to be ready. If you went through something big, like a big breakup, a big divorce, something like that recently or within the last few years, it's natural that you're, it's like, can we slow down a little bit so we don't rush into this so we can make sure we're making the right decision? That's all that is. That doesn't mean it's ruining anything. It just means slow down and get the details. Stop and smell the roses. Get to know this person on a deeper level. And that's what I keep feeling learn more. I keep seeing, I hear, slow down, learn more. Doesn't mean end it, just slow down and learn more. So that's what I got. And that was it. That was, that's what it was. So don't let that upset you. Just look into it more, get some details. Now, I think we have a caller. Is that right, Brian? Uh, yes, we do. It's Carolyn from Alabama. Welcome to the Jen Reuters. So what can Jen do for you today? Oh, uh, hi. Um, I just was wondering um, about how you could use the for the light twenty three to be if you could use it to be able to talk to your angels somehow. Um, okay, so can, you, can you can you repeat it one more time? It was I didn't quite catch the whole okay. minute. Okay, <laughs> I'm sorry, my puppy was trying to. Um, bother me at the same time I was talking. Um, yes, I, I heard you speaking lately about the Orlite 23, and I wanted to give it to myself for a Christmas present. And I was wondering, I've heard you can use gems maybe to as a pendulum to talk to the angels. And um, oh. I, I had been using one um, lately to talk, and I just... I, I kept getting a message, yes, but it turned out to be a, a definite no, and I, okay. and I kept saying yes, and I'm, okay. I got really confused and kind of got <laughs> hurt because I, yeah, I, I kept, understand. Hey, I, I, I understand. Like yeah. So thank you for yes. that. Now I know what you're talking about. You're talking about the Oralite 23 crystal. That's what you were talking yes, about. Yes, and, and yes, I have brought that up. Yes, that is a and, crystal that's much stronger really and it's a wonderful crystal for connecting when you feel the tug going yes no yes no yes no 
what you're experiencing is the trust inside, the trust inside. And if you were to work with clearing your chakras, uh, with the crystals, and you can just use quartz crystal as well, but the oralite's a pretty strong one, so sometimes it can push us a little faster than we are catching up in other areas. It's nothing negative. It's just more of a, what's happening with the angels lately is they are, they want us to trust what we're picking up, even if it does change like that, because here's the thing, it can change. You can do a tarot reading or or a, a reading with somebody and then in a year it could be completely different because you made choices that were different from what they read in that energy in that moment. So you can do something with a crystal and then you're going, wow, okay, that was a yes. And then you could change your heart. You could change core approach to it. You could change something about the way you feel about something and it can change the whole answer. And and that can happen too. So I wanted to explain that that's not uncommon for that to happen back and forth. But when it's going back and forth a lot, there could be a, a pull. Because what we focus on is what the energy is bringing in. And But the readings with an aura light crystal are very strong. So what you want to do is you want to make sure that you ask for the shielding and protection. So only divine is coming through. You are getting divine messages. So if you're feeling like it's all over the place, don't don't be alarmed that it's negative. But I would first make sure that you're shielded up. Like I always shield up, ask Michael to watch over me so I'm only receiving something positive and something that's going to be good. If it's chaotic and it's bouncing everywhere, I wouldn't do anything on that because you want it to be a consistent message. Angels bring in consistent messages. It, they don't change all over the place. When you're getting something divine and true for you, it will be the same answer. And I, I do want to say that. It won't keep changing. Does that make sense? I Yes. Um, but the thing is, that I was using a, a quartz, and, and they kept saying yes every time I asked it the question they get saying yes actually it was about the right. election and I don't even know if that was if that was right to, to keep asking them which way it was going to go but they kept when I ask a specific question they would say yes and as so I got my hopes up and then when it turned out the opposite way I'm like I kind of felt betrayed mm -hmm. and I'm, I'm like okay that that's not right I I know they wouldn't tell me something or maybe I misread it they wouldn't tell me something just to make me feel better you know to be honest right and, no and it's normal for that to so happen I, it can happen with a I deck of angel cards or tarot cards if you kept asking the same question over and over and over again sometimes that can mix the answer up a bit yeah. it can um, so what I'm suggesting is um, what I'm suggesting is pull back from the question a little bit, not ask it, you know, too many <laughs> times all in a row, but it, because that can actually cause, because here's why, here's why. I know this will sound crazy and I got to hurry because we're at the end of the show. Say you ask a question, right. you really, really, really want the answer to be yes. And it's kind of a big deal. And so then it says yes. And it's like, oh, was that too good to be true? Maybe I should ask again. What are you hearing when I say that? A little bit <laughs> of doubt. That that. I, just a little bit of doubt energy that just got thrown into the pot. Are you hearing me? That can kind of muddle huh. the water a little bit. So what's happening recently, what Wait. I'm noticing, since I think I did that show a while back. I don't remember when you listened to that one, but that was a little few months ago. Um, Right. What's happening right now is they've kind of pulled back and they're making us reach higher because they want us to be proactive and know that we have beautiful, unique gifts and we can do quite a bit on our own. And the only way for us to discover that is for them not, they're not abandoning, but they're having us reach higher so we raise up more. So instead of coming all the way down right. and dropping it in our lap so easily like they used to, they're training us to go to a next level. So it's a very positive okay. action. Yeah. Yeah. And it's actually a very positive, but some people are going, they're not talking to me anymore. And that's not necessarily the case. Just trust, right. trust 
and know and watch the doubting. But I have to I've run out of time, so I've got to go. And I just said, Carolyn, don't quit using it. But look at look at what you're trusting and doubting and second guessing, because we can second guess them all day long and then they'll go, OK, OK, then no, then. So they're they're testing you. <laughs> so they're challenging you with to trust. Using, so that's what's going on. But I have to I have to go. I'm sorry. Using, We're really out of time oh, and I have okay, to go to the station. So I want to thank you for well, calling you in. So Guys, thank you so much for listening today. And I want to miss, wish everyone happy holidays, Merry Christmas, Happy Hanukkah, whatever it is that you celebrate and into the new year. We will be here next week with the angel guidance for the upcoming year of 2017, the big power pack show we do every year for the whole year of 2017. I love you all. Namaste. You've been listening to The Jen Royster Show, intuitive guidance to inspire your life. Remember to tune in each Thursday at 8 a.m. Pacific and 11 a.m. Eastern Time on TransformationTalkRadio.com. Dr. Jen Royster is an internationally known intuitive counselor, spiritual teacher, and energy healer. Imagine having the ability to use your innate positive energy to dissolve the stuckness in your life, whether it's emotional, physical, or spiritual, through this incredible dynamic show. If you've missed any part of this show or any other show, Visit www.jenroyster.com and transformationtalkradio.com.